So here we have the exploratory and on the left hand side we've got um, some of the survey questions. Um, I forget how many there are. The, there was quite a few I think. Uh, over 250 odd different questions. Uh, some of these questions are grouped to so Likert uh, responses. Um, so I think that's one of the areas that this tool doesn't really do is e explain what question types there are. Um, so we can select uh, a question type and we can see that the graph um, updates. So this was the question what um, subjects do you study? Because it's a long list we can actually um, type in and uh, filter. So if we're looking at Obviously, for a search term like OER, there, there's quite a few there. Um, so it's just purpose. And see the graph updates again. Um, we can see the counts for those. What we can actually do is there are a couple of facets where we can filter this data. So, um, for example, on country name, um, we get an estimate of how many survey responses for each geographic region. So if I just want to look at United States, I can see the responses just for there. Um, unfortunately, right now we can't do comparison of more than one. So, you know, if you wanted to look at both United States and United Kingdom, um, that's not pos possible. Uh, and that's one of the limitations of using fusion tables. As well as the, the chart, uh, we've got a couple of other tabs here. So um, we've got a marker map as we've filtered on United Kingdom. It's probably not surprising that all the markers we've got are in the United Kingdom. Um, so this is just showing you where the, the survey responses came from. Uh, similarly, we have a, a summary map. Again, not surprising. It's United Kingdom. So if I just switch that off, we'll see where the responses are coming uh, internationally. And again, if I go back to the marker map, we get a summary of where all these survey responses are coming from. Um, back in the chart, we, we can actually change the chart type. Um, so here we've got a bar chart. Uh, and clicking on the button, we've got an editor that comes up um, so we can look at the data in a different way, so maybe uh, a column. And there's a, basically a whole long list of other charts that you can use. Obviously some of these aren't um, compatible with the data set, um, so you won't actually get anything um, that's renderable. Um, but there are a couple options there for that. Uh, and everything is uh, the summary table as well, so uh, just an indication of the the data in numbers. Um, just to show you a couple of the other facets, um, we're using uh, role, age, gender, and collector name is the the survey instrument used. So there were various um, different surveys with different with uh, uh, different questions. So some of them had uh, the same core questions, but others would ask slightly different things. And as I s mentioned in the post, all the data is in fusion tables. So as we change these, it's basically querying the data on the fusion table. So it's quite easy for the OU team to update the data in the, the fusion table and it, you know, it comes through to the site straight away. So that's a, a quick overview of the tool. Yeah. Um, Please have a play yourself and uh, let me know how you get on.